Ladies and gentlemen, it is early in the morning, but we do this for you. Early in the morning <laughs> and cold. So, here on the ranch today, early morning, cold, it's cold. Today we're going to be doing some low round counts, 60 rounds of rifle, like 50 rounds of pistol a piece. Got some new gear we're gonna be testing out. Got this uh, new Vortex Strike Fire Eagle. This is the new BDC-3 reticle on it. Gonna be uh, shooting that, testing out some new Ear Pro we got. I just upgraded my range belt. Some expedition gear. I've heard mixed things about it, but we wanted to say ourselves. Chandler, what'd you bring today? Well, we've got again back to the EO Tech, making sure it's all snug and ready to go. Lock tight it. Made that mistake last time not to do that. Of course, we'll do a little bit of EDC and something we've really been looking forward to. Craft holsters, leather holster. Outside the waistband for a America's pistol. <laughs> He doesn't know I brought this. This is a little bit of a treat for him and uh, one of the kind of surprise him with it. Uh, so I'm gonna get it out and assemble it here. We had a question recently, uh, some of the subscribers, some of the viewers asking question, should I go with a red dot? Should I go with low power variable? You know, what are the pros and cons of both? But to throw a wrench into it, I thought it would be good to go with something else and should say, what about fixed power? No. Yeah, yeah. so it's it's not in there. It's uh, already on this upper. What? Right here. Wait, how do you get the sucker off? <laughs> I have not looked through this at all. What? I have not looked through this. I wanted to get Chandler's reaction and my reaction on how clear these are, what it's like to shoot these, but um, a family member asked me to cite it in for them, so I decided to go ahead and do that. And they set some ammo and everything, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. I can't even get this stupid thing in. Take down pen. Needs a little bit of lube. Oh my gosh. There we go. ingenuity this when you don't have what you need you make do with what you have we'll just have to put new tape on it <laughs> i forgot about your hanging steel up in the woods there honestly i did too <laughs> until just now yeah i was like what the heck are we talking about because this is wet wood so it really will not stick but it doesn't have to because if you loop it around on itself it just has to stick to itself this is what happens when we forget our staple gun. Yep. But always carry duct tape in the truck. Yeah, pro tip, if you put the target on sideways, it um, <laughs> actually helps your, <laughs> your, your siding in. It's pro tip. Pro tip, yep. absolutely. <laughs> it only works if you show the logo. Adds 10 to reload speed. Remember that. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you definitely look like a pro when you're like this. <laughs> Listen, the the beanie over top of the ear pro, you look like a dork, but you stay warm. Look at that mushroom. Nature. <laughs> look at all those. Whoa. <laughs> Anybody know what those mushrooms are? Let us know in the comment section. We're Eagle Scouts and we can't tell you what they are. They didn't teach us <laughs> mushrooms. I shanked that third one, so we're good. <laughs> I felt that. You just you just threw a dollar yeah. away yeah. right there. By, by one shanking. dollar gone. Let's 
smells so funny. It's so weird. <laughs> that <laughs> smell of 22 in the morning. <laughs> So I have never ever looked through an ACOG before because if I was in a gun store and I looked through it and saw how cool it was, I probably would have made a very bad financial decision. So I decided never to look through one, but today we have the opportunity to sight this in for a family member. He said it's pretty much on, but we're here to verify it. Now you can't, you can't be too sure. It's the wrong ammo type. That has no ammo in it. It's over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, brass, right? It's such an honor. Kind of a classic build. We got a full rifle length uh, gas system with A2 plastic, you know, four guard on the end, uh, but a little different. It's not mil spec. Right. I'll shoot a couple rounds through it and I'll hand it over to you. So you can, okay? Oh uh, goodness. It's gonna, it's gonna make me want to buy one. Oh. I killed it! <laughs> I killed it! I killed your dude! All right, all right, your turn. Okay. <laughs> so have you ever looked through an ACOG before? I've never looked through an ACOG, period. Okay, here we go, let's, let's take a look. What? Oh my gosh, it looks like it's perfectly illuminated that's bright all right that's like unreal goodness let's see if we can bring the small boy there it is. those first two was me shanking it by the way <laughs> now that we're talking about it I remember people saying that it's too bright. It's, so they take like electrical tape and cover it up. Oh, you can up. totally tell the difference. Do what I just did there. Okay, all right, all right, there, there. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, yeah, full, yeah. And some people are like, it's too bright. Because the way these work is it picks up the sunlight through this fiber optic tube here and redirects it into the reticle. So it's really bright. And so what some people do is if it's too bright, especially on sunny days, they'll take some electrical tape and cover that up. And so I'm gonna do that at home experiment right now. And, oh yeah, <laughs> it's so cool. It's, it's wild, dude. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's, it's, I want one, I just can't afford it, so. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, that broke. <laughs> so it's a proven fact that ACOGs hit harder. <laughs> ACOGs hit harder. <laughs> proven. Is that it? Yeah. There's the... Like... The... <laughs> that was your shot, not mine. <laughs> ACOG precision. <laughs> All right, well, uh, invoice me. Yeah, I guess so.
106 first shot, split 310, 4.16 total. I'll take that. We're finishing up here today at the range. Ammo is expensive. Everybody is feeling the squeeze a little bit. Just to give you an idea, we shot about 30 rounds of pistol a piece. I think Chandler shot a little bit more than that. Yeah, and I shot a little bit more 45 than I normally do, but that is okay. I found an extra box of ammo in my bag, so that is a win. It's like finding 20 bucks in your trousers. Chandler, you wanna tell the kind people anything? Uh, despite the shortage, we still got a lot of good stuff coming. So stay tuned to the channel, as always. Where every day is range day. Thanks for watching. The last storm that came through here took that thing down absolutely clean, straight across what looks like a chainsaw. But I promise you, that's not what happened. I've seen some like hurricane force wind cut clean through stumps like exactly like this before. <laughs>